what's up guys time is back with another Linton's video today is a fan edition video but before we get into that just want to say thank you guys again it is an honor to be playing on one of those electronic devices whether it's that cell phone that tablet that laptop that macintosh that brand new big screen tv whether you watch me at home at work on a plane a train or an automobile maybe you watch me right now sitting chilling at the homies crib he ain't hitting nothing right he ain't watching the stuff you want to watch so you got your phone out there watching that. Now he's mad at you because he's like, man, what, what? My company ain't good enough? No, it's not good enough. Or else you wouldn't be watching this fragrance video. If you guys are new to this channel, you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, comment, and like. Likes are very important. Likes are uh, helping this channel grow. Man, we're getting close to 4,900. Then 5,000. And again, once we get to 5,000, we will have a very lovely giveaway. So definitely be on the lookout for that uh without further ado let's get into these fragrances now again mr david sanchez he's uh been a class act uh on most of the facebook fragrance groups um done multiple trades and stuff like that multiple transactions if you will just a classy guy so mr david sanchez if you're watching this video is pretty much sponsored by you since the fragrances that we're going to be discussing are the ones that you sent my way okay so that being said let's get into it now i think it's probably been almost probably three or four years since the last time i smelt a dua fragrance dua 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 this dua that okay um dua is a pretty much a well-known clone house they actually make their own fragrances as well they got their own um kind of mashups they got their own little hybrid fragrances and all that like that they got their own creations everything they do it all they do the designers they do the niche they do it all they got high quality stuff uh the last video i did uh was probably about like i said three or four years ago when i put up a dua fragrance and a fragrance from our moth legacy and i put the two together because the dua fragrance was their take on uh chanel ego east now as good as that one smelt, I think the Armoff's version was better. And I think it was more based off of uh, uh, the the amount of juice, the, the the quantity, if you will. Okay, Because Armoff's was just as good. They're both really, really good. Armoff's, because you got a 3.4 ounce bottle and it was like 25 bucks compared to a 30 ml, f you know, for 60 bucks, it kind of made me choose the Armoff. Okay, so... But you know what? The nose is, you know, definitely getting a little bit more on the uh, uppity side, the bougie side. So we shall see. And and again, these came uh, from a trade. So I didn't have to spend the $60 on these uh, fragrances. So I'm just hoping these smell good. Try to away a couple things, but let's get into this case. So dual fragrances, these are an extrait de parfum, extrait they perform so i'm expecting at least uh anywhere above 25 35 on the oil concentrations but anyways this one is minty fresh and also got this thai iced tea as well so can't wait to try either one of these out now it's kind of cool they got these two different uh thinking this is the same is this the same cap that comes on this or is, did he just throw a different cap on there i don't care it doesn't matter Look at that cap, got a nice little woody cap, okay? But one thing I always liked about Dua fragrances, especially some of their other fragrance, um, some of their lineups, is the artwork that they always had on the front, okay? This is kind of basic, but the other artwork that they usually got, all the cool colors, the neon brights, the all the reds, the yellows, the cool colors, the artistic uh, effort that goes into each one of those bottles. So those are pretty cool. So let's get into this. We'll start off with the Minty Fresh. Now, as far as what I just seen, I tried to look it up real fast before I did this video. It has like spearmint, peppermint, it has fruits in it. I don't know what to expect though. So here we go. Spray that over here. I am in the mood for a nice minty fragrance, okay? Only time we get mint is when we're brushing our teeth or... Whoa. I think I got a little bit in my mouth. Ooh. Ooh, that's nice. 
in the air that is that is really nice okay that is like fruity you get like this fruity minty smell and honestly i think this would be great like on a beach beach vibe maybe going on a cruise you're gonna have a lot of adult beverages and stuff like that maybe you're gonna have a couple mojitos maybe you're gonna have a couple of daiquiris or margaritas if you will but man that in the air i'm gonna get closer but in the air that is a as a nice blast of mint and fruit. Again, it's like apple minty. I think there might be pineapple in here as well, but let me get closer and see what it's all about, okay? Look at that sheen on the hand. Looks very nice. I'm actually digging this one. This one's definitely going to be a warm weather fragrance. Honestly, I think you might be able to get away with this at work. However, you smell like mint at work. I don't know. I don't know if that works, really. Uh, smelling like a minty batch of Andy's chocolates or something like that or smelling like a candy cane while you're walking into work I don't know how that would work but on the beach I think this is definitely gonna rock the day away okay so man that is that is super minty and fresh it's a fresh minty fresh fruit okay not when I say fresh not like fresh musky but like fresh fruit like the freshest of fruits that you can get. None of none of that fruit with the heavy syrups and stuff in the, and all the ex extra corn syrups and higher fructose this and all this other stuff. That is like fresh fruit, fresh mint, like nice muddled mint. Muddle that mint. Muddle that mint up. You put some of that club soda in there with some of that sugar, some of that lime juice, a little bit of that uh, Bacardi rum. Got yourself a nice mojito, okay? But... Man, bright and citrusy too. I'm getting some nice citrus too now. Citrus, minty, fruity, freshness. This stuff, again, I'm going to be rocking this on the beach when summertime comes up. Hey, it'll give it a little bit more time to macerate, if you will, like those uh, the uh, fragrance aficionados like to say. They like to let that stuff macerate a little bit. Let it marinate overnight, if you will. Let it marinate for five hours. Let it marinate overnight. Let it marinate for a few more months until springtime comes up and then bring that back out. But it's kind of got this woody background now. There's a little bit of this slight woodiness coming through, okay? Ooh. Man, that is. Ooh. That will cool the nose down fast. Minty. Citrusy. Fresh fruit slightly woody okay that's all you're gonna get from me and again on the beach on a boat on a cruise on the boardwalk daytime this is a daytime fragrance okay not nighttime not sexy date now you can wear it at night if you're going bowling and stuff like that a little playful date go out in there and rock it but that is good guys i like that next up let's try this thai iced tea I'm, I'm expecting some kind of gourmandy, spicy, maybe vanilla. Damn. Smell like something all over the place. So we're going to have to try to do this uh, in another fashion. Let's see if the wife will come here and borrow us an arm real quick. Babe. Can you borrow us an arm real quick? Kind of. Unless I spray this somewhere else, which I have no room. I'm not going to spray the this part of the hand because that just wouldn't be right i just got a lot of stuff all over the place though but this is that thai iced tea so again i'm assuming some kind of nice sweet gourmandy action going on there Ooh. Ooh. It's quite different. It's quite different than what I was expecting, actually. It's definitely got a little spice, almost like an Indian spice that I'm getting from here. Maybe some cardamom. A little bright. It's kind of citrusy. Hmm. I'm not too sure what to make on that one just yet. I like it. Don't get me wrong. I think it's unisex. It is unisex. 
And I'm assuming with some of these leaves on here and stuff, maybe there's some kind of leafy green in here going on. Mixed with that little bit of spice. Again, guys know iced tea, spiced chai iced tea has got that spicy, kind of creamy. I'm not I'm not sure if I was... Are you getting any creamy from that? Let me see. I'm starting to get creamy now. Creamy is starting to come a little bit. Again, it's got that definitely like it. I think there's cardamom in here. It's like this spicy smell that's kind of sweet. It's kind of sweet. It's spicy. You know, a little bit of this like creaminess. Just just a touch. I like both of these. Um, it's just hard to describe this one right off the bat. This one right here, this minty one. Like I have the baby smell it. Okay, now it's not a, it's not a sexy fragrance. Okay, I like it though. It's minty. It's cool. It's fresh. It's bright. It's inviting, if you will. I don't think it offended uh, anybody. No. I mean, it, it, it's, it's super like, minty, you guys. Let's smell it one more time. It's a conversational piece. It's like a minty, uh, minty citrusy, bright fresh. Is this? Do they use real mint? It, it's yeah. it's like super minty. It's like extract. spearminty. It's pepperminty. Extract. You're using that extract de parfum. This chai iced tea. Let me smell it one more time because this one. I'm a little bit more intrigued by this one of the two. I like it. I like it, but it's hard to describe. Okay, the other one was kind of easy. It's like minty, citrusy. This one. Different. Man, it's definitely got that nice mm. spice to it. It's a sweet spice. It's kind of got this fresh citrusy smell to it as well. Like not mm. too much citrus. Like this this minty one, this minty one. You get that citrus right off the back. But that one, I'm actually really intrigued by wearing this. I want to wear this a little bit more. I think this is like a date night fragrance too. It screams sexy, especially with that little bit of spice and that little bit of sweet. I think this is like a sexy date night fragrance. You're going to smell gourmandy. You're going to smell, again, got that nice spice, almost kind of sweet, almost bubblegummy, like how sometimes cardamom gives off that kind of bubblegummy spice smell. Man, let me spray this in the air real quick one more time, okay? Man, it's... It's nice in a way that you just can't describe it. There's like, it, it's so hard to describe this fragrance where I kind of want to be like accurate. So you guys like, you know, if you see it, you know, if you want to buy it. But it smells gorgeous, you guys. Again, spicy, kind of creamy, kind of citrusy. Okay, you put all that together and that's what you get. Okay, you get this warm, spicy. Okay, this warm, spicy with a little bit of that freshness from that citrus that creeps through. So it's kind of fresh. It's kind of warm, spicy. It's kind of got this creaminess to it. I like it. Thai iced tea. We also have this minty fresh again. Bright, citrusy, pepperminty. Nice and pepperminty. Kind of powdery, pepperminty, okay? So there you guys go. There's two of the duos. Thai iced tea, minty fresh. There you go. There you have it again. That one was courtesy of Mr. David Sanchez out there in California. Hopefully you guys are okay out there in California. If you guys live in California, you're watching this, um, you know, depending on where you're watching, hopefully you're watching still in your homes. You guys know some of that, that, that weather kind of destroyed some homes and stuff like that. If Man, hopefully you guys are all safe out there. Okay. So with that being said, I'm going to get up out of here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, hit the likes, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Peace. Yeah.